December 15, 1791. The Second Amendment was added to the Constitution of the Bill of Rights as part of the Bill of Rights. Today, I'll be speaking about protection. First, I'll be speaking about protection of one's own rights. Second, I'll be speaking about the protection of one's own safety. And third, I'll be speaking about the protection of one's personal property. The first, first, the protection of one's own rights. The Bill of Rights is the first, is, is the first 10 amendments of the Constitution of the United States of America. These 10 statements were put in place to ensure certain freedoms and rights to legal Americans, legal citizens of America. It also put limits on what government can do and can control. In the case of Brown versus Board of Education, the court ruled that having separate public schools for black students and white students was deemed unconstitutional. This means segregation in public schools is illegal and this paved the way to end segregation in general. Second, I'll be speaking about one's own safety. Excuse me, I'm having trouble seeing how segregation relates to gun law. Help me. Counsel, in the case of Milford versus uh, the Black Panthers, it seemed as if they deliberately segregated the fact that Blacks could have open carry and whites, blacks couldn't have open carry and whites could. This is the segregation clause that I'm speaking Thank of. Thank you, you answered it. Second, I'll be speaking on the safety of one's own self. Now you may think the Second Amendment was put in place so that people of the revolutionary times could go hunting for food. And even though this was, and even, and even though Many people did hunt for food. This is not why the Second Amendment was intended, was initiated. The Second Amendment was meant to help people protect themselves from a tyrannical government. In the case of the Black Panthers versus Milford, the Milford Law, the Milford Law was deliberately set in place to segregate this very well-governed militia in neglecting the rights of the Second Amendment. Third, I'll be speaking on the, the protection of one's own personal property. This is an initial part of the economic system put in place to protect our, na our natural rights, which in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If a store owner, store is constantly getting robbed, he can then, he can gain a license to open carry to, protect, to possess a firearm, he can now advertise the fact that he has this license and crime rate will go down. The probability of said store being robbed, look, no, which in turn can be used as a deterrent and ultimately lower the probability of said store being robbed. And this in itself totally encompasses the American dream. Thank you.